And with this, we move on to the announcement of the next round of uh, Scotch semi-finalist order of merit. And I have the uh, privilege of uh, inviting uh, Ms. Neha Chaudhary, Project Officer from Jan Kalyan, Department of Information Technology and Communication from Government of Rajasthan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Neha Chaudhary, Project Officer, Chief mm -hmm. Minister's Office, mm -hmm. Government of mm -hmm. Rajasthan. I take this opportunity to thank you, uh, Scotch Group, for having us here for the Jan Kalyan Portal. The Jan Kalyan Portal, the name itself suggests public welfare. So, this portal was conceptualized with the objective to provide all the public related information uh, respect to uh, departments and districts under one roof. So this portal provides information related to schemes, the services, the government documents such as orders, circulars, acts, rules, policies, etc. Not only this, uh, apart, uh, this also provides information related to the projects or the works executed by different departments. Then later, with the demand and need of the public and the departments, this project grew manifold and it resulted into as a tool, which is, uh, which is now known as Web My Way. So this tool is basically for generating the website dynamically. So we have like seven different types of portals which can be generated through this tool. And as of now, we have almost 140 portals which are live through Jan Kalyan, which is now also known as Web My Way. So we have a number of portals to be coming up in pipeline. So this is all from my side. And thank you once again to the Scotch Group for having us here. Thank you. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Dr. V. Veddi Adala, Vice Chancellor, Acharya N. G. Ranga Agricultural University, Andhra Pradesh, for Agricultural Research and Education. Mr. K. Bala Subramaniam, District Collector, Abolition of Child Labor and Bonded Labor System, District Administration, Kudlo. Sir, we are from Acharya N. G. Ranga Agricultural University. All right, please go ahead. Uh, sir, myself, Dr. Prashanti, representing the Acharya N.G. Ranga Agriculture University. We have submitted a project for research, agriculture research and education. Ours is the university established in 1964 and uh, in bifurcation of the Telugu states in 2015, we started our research uh, agriculture university at Lam Guntur in Andhra Pradesh. We are working in three wings, that is in research, teaching and extension. In teaching, for the first time, I can tell proudly we received first rank for the uh, receiving highest number of pg scholarships under jrf srf icr exam and our university ranked 11th among the 67 universities for 2020-21 for our highest reaching and research extension capabilities so apart from that we are, are uh, producing 70000 quintals of seed and supplying to different agencies and even uh, apart from that after establishing, we released nearly 450 uh, varieties in different crops. Among that, the rice varieties, the PPT-504 and uh, Swarna varieties are occupying nearly 33% of the total India area. And recently, we also released 15 varieties that has trade-specific varieties that, that are shooting against the recent problems in the farmers. Field. Apart from this, five patents were received by our university regarding different things. And we also, oh, in AP also, they are occupying all the crops. Uh, nearly 90% of the area is occupying by the important varieties produced by our university. In, apart from this, in, during the dis, uh, digitalization, uh, drone technology also, we have initiated the research work. Uh, and we are the first, we received a uh, re, uh, remote pilot uh, organization from DGCA in November 7th. And we are uh, giving training to the all our polytechnic students. And we are uh, giving them the chance to fly as co-pilots and pilots. These are the few achievements from our universities, sir. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Dharmesh Kumar Sahu, Commissioner, Chhattisgarh Housing Board, Low Cost Housing. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I Dharmesh Kumar Sahu, Chhattisgarh se, Housing Board Commissioner. Uh, we have low cost housing in the Housing Board Chhattisgarh. Ne acha kaam kiya hai. Main aapko bata du ki especially jo hai dedicated to EWS, LIG, Quarter, we have made a lot of 
पिछले जो 18 साल में जो है अंठानवे हजार जो घर बनाए हैं जिसमें से 68,000 जो है लो हाउसिंग ही बना हुआ है जिसमें खास करके जो जो लो इनकम ग्रुप ही आते हैं ई और एल और इसमें हाउस का जो कास्ट है ढाई लाख से लेके पांच लाख तक का हम लोग उनको प्रोवाइड करते हैं इसमें हमने जो है लो ग्रुप जो जो बेनिफिशरी है उनको जो छत्तीसगढ़ गवर्नमेंट और गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का जो सब्सिडी है उसके अलावा हम क्राफ्ट क्रॉप सब्सिडी भी करते हैं कि इनका जो कॉस्टिंग है जो जो ज्यादा आता है तो उसको हम जो है दूसरे जो हाई इनकम ग्रुप में जो है ट्रांसफर करते हैं तो उससे भी जो है इनका जो जो हाउस है वो कम कास्ट पड़ता है और अभी हमने जो है जो लो हाउस जो लो कास्ट हाउसिंग है वो हमने अर्बन और रूरल दोनों एरिया में हमने बनाए हैं मेनली जो है स्कीम्स जो है हमारे जो है यहाँ पर अटल आवास योजना है अटल बिहार योजना राज्य आवास योजना मुख्यमंत्री आवास योजना उसके अलावा प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना जो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का स्कीम है उसके तहत ये सभी को लाभ देते हैं इसके अलावा जो है जो हाउसिंग बोर्ड ने हम हमने जो है ये लोगों को और अच्छे से फैसिलिटेट करने के लिए एक टोल फ्री नंबर भी हमने लोगों को दिया है जो सभी लोगों को लाभान्वित होते हैं एसएमएस सर्विस भी है इसके अलावा स्पेशली जो है जो हाउस सर्च का जो पोर्टल हमारा समृद्धि ऑनलाइन इसे भी लोग जो है सर्च करके ये हाउस जो है अपना रजिस्टर कर सकते हैं परचेस कर सकते हैं और मैं आपको थैंक यू कहना चाहूंगा कि हमें जो है इसके लिए आपने चुना हुआ है अगेन थैंक यू बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपका और बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं मिस्टर संजय शुक्ला मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर छत्तीसगढ़ माइनस माइनर फॉरेस्ट प्रोड्यूस कोऑपरेटिव फेडरेशन लिमिटेड फॉर सस्टेनेबल लाइवलीहुड फ्रॉम माइनर फॉरेस्ट प्रोड्यूस द नेक्स्ट वन आल्सो गोस टू छत्तीसगढ़ माइनर फॉरेस्ट प्रोड्यूस कोऑपरेटिव फेडरेशन फॉर छत्तीसगढ़ हर्बल्स क्वालिटी कंट्रोल लेबोरेटरी मिस्टर के सी गुप्ता Principal Secretary, Cooperation Department, Government of Madhya Pradesh, for Madhya Pradesh Cooperative Policy. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. This is uh, Ritu Raj Ranjan, Joint Commissioner, Department of Cooperation. On behalf of our Principal Secretary, Mr. K. C. Gupta, who is presently engaged in a meeting with Honorable C. M. Uh, I have been asked to participate in this ceremony. Uh, well, first of all, I would be extremely thankful to scotch that they gave us this opportunity to put forward our case which has been very important in the cooperative sector of of india not only madhya pradesh the reason being till date cooperatives uh, are not being covered or not have been covered in a policy mode it is it was a part of agriculture department both at center at state levels but uh, honorable prime minister constituted a new ministry that is ministry of cooperation at center and uh, they <coughs> asked us to formulate uh, a cooperative policy so that it would help the central government to formulate the same uh, in the larger interest of the cooperative community since we all know that uh, cooperatives are the most effective till date it's the most effective tool of inclusive development and uh, especially for marginalized communities and women so we are happy to share that we we have drafted and submitted the first cooperative policy uh, of this state that is first of its kind in india for which we have been uh, 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 we have been receiving lot of uh, <laughs> kudos from so many sections and uh, we were happy to share it with scotch basically uh, the objective of the cooperative policy is to ensure <coughs> the uh, inclusive and sustainable development in this state and uh, we have <coughs> covered almost all the aspects like institutional <coughs> development structural and legal reforms we have proposed <clears throat> a large scale information technology introduction in cooperative sector uh, <clears throat> converting the cooperative movement in an efficient business model 
for which all kinds of provisions, all possible provisions, we have met. And uh, <coughs> particularly, Honorable Chief Minister has uh, uh, accepted our policy, which is being discussed at cabinet level. Very soon, uh, we would be the first in the country to implement it. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you. Dr. Devender Sihag, Joint Director, Agriculture, Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Government of Haryana for Soil Health Card. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, this is Dr. Ramesh Hudda. I am working as Advisor of Agriculture Department. Actually, I am speaking on behalf of our uh, 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 additional uh, Chief Secretary, Madam Dr. Sumita Mishra. Who, uh, who is busy with uh, some meeting in the Chief, uh, Chief Secretary's office. Uh, in fact, we have submitted two projects uh, uh, for the Scotch Award and we are taking up these two major initiatives in the state, uh, in the uh, Haryana, uh, Haryana state. One is the soil, soil health card preparation. Uh, there is uh, going to be a Harkhet Swast Khet Abhiyan uh, we have started in Haryana and for which every farmer is, will be provided a soil health card. And it's a, such a big program, we will be collecting about 75 lakh uh, samples from each and every parcel of land uh, of entire Haryana and over a period of three years. And 30 lakh samples have already been collected uh, within this year. And for every field, we will be preparing the, uh, we will be analyzing all this data uh, for macronutrient, micronutrient, other physical properties of the soil, and uh, a card will be prepared uh, uh, for the for the farmer. For each farmer will be provided a card, and based on that, the recommendation about the fertilizer and other things will be provided. We are, uh, in fact, uh, uh, analyzing the irrigated water also because sometimes the salts are available in irrigated irrigation waters and that has to be uh, supplemented with canal uh, water and fuel water and all that. So that, that's a, going to be a big program which, have, we, which we have submitted uh, for our uh, this uh, uh, Scotch Award also. Another program is reclamation of water and waterlogged and salt affected soils. In Haryana, we have uh, uh, around 1 lakh hectare of uh, uh, land under uh, salinity and waterlogged soil in central Haryana because of its bowl-shaped topography. And on portal, we have invited the uh, application from the farmer who wants uh, their uh, land to be reclaimed because uh, that cost about 30, 40,000 rupees per acre and 20, 20 uh, percent uh, only is to be borne by the farmers. So uh, uh, online application have been invited and work has been started and uh, almost 25% of the 25,000 hectare of land uh, have been reclaimed by using the vertical technology and subsurface sub drainage technologies. And uh, we'll be completing this project also within a three year period time. And, uh, and very so, much so, for informing uh, us that you know such kind of uh, strides which are being made by the department uh, under uh, the leadership of uh, uh, the secretary and led by you. So my congratulations to you. And we would love to study those projects as well uh, when they reach a stage uh, wherein uh, we start seeing their outcomes. So congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the next so, one also, uh, this is what you already were talking about, the project on reclamation of waterlogged and saline soils in Haryana. So this one also goes to the Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. You just talked about that. So thank you very much for uh, sharing these details with us. An ecotourism initiative at Chamrod Village, Dhar Kalam, Pathan Kot, Department of Forest and Wildlife Preservation, Government of Punjab, Mr. Sanjeev Kumar Tiwari, Conservator of Forests. So, good afternoon everyone. First of all, I take this opportunity to thank Scotch team, whole team for um, having believed in us and selecting for this uh, Scotch Order of Merit Award. So, regarding our project, so basically it is uh, an ecotourism project that, that, that is development of nature awareness camp in Chamrod village of Pathankut. It is for size kind in Punjab. And as you know, the basic twin objective of uh, that ecotourism project is, ha is having the maximum the uh, benefit out of the project must reach to the local community 
and secondly there should be minimum impact in the, in the environment so keeping in this this two objective in mind we have devised a model in which the investment for this eco tourism is done by the forest department and after investing after creating infrastructure now it has it has been handed over to the local community for its running and i would uh, glad to inform you that they are running it very successfully and the model is that the 50% share goes to the village a community for a overall development of the, their villages and 50% is for forestry development projects uh, in and around the project area so the success of the project is uh, can be seen by its replication it this project same model has been replicated in three other districts of uh, punjab and it's, it's again uh, going very successfully and some more projects are in pipeline and very soon it's, uh, it's it, it will come on the ground so th this was the success and it, basically it's all stakeholders with this project and now they are there is win win situation for all stakeholders including forest department local community the tourists and the nature enthusiasts and everyone so this was the all about uh, present and again i would like to thank scotch for having uh, believe in us and giving this award thank you very much congratulations thank you dr arjun singh saini director general department of horticulture government of haryana crop cluster development program mr p narahari secretary and industries commissioner for msme transformation to fostering cluster development department of micro small and medium enterprises government of madhya pradesh mr narahari let me go back to uh, dr arjun singh saini director general department of horticulture haryana for crop cluster development program yeah uh, good afternoon everyone Uh, yes uh, first of all thanks uh, the jurist uh, who have selected our uh, project the crop cluster development program which we have initiated uh, initiated four years back uh, actually uh, what all about the crop cluster development is the development of uh, horticulture activities in the clusters uh, across the state uh, there are uh, as all of we are aware there are various challenges which we face Uh, you know, the farmers face at the field level is one of the best chal major challenge is the aggregation of produce one and second is that at the same time the aggregation of farmers also so that they can collectively aggregate the produce and collectively market the market their produce these are the major challenges uh on seeing these challenges uh, we have uh, uh, prepared a program uh, we call it is a crop cluster we have identified roughly around 400 clusters across the states predominantly uh, having the uh, horticulture crops uh, in large track of area uh, because uh, 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 in haryana the horticulture crops are spread wide spread over in different uh, agroclimatic conditions uh, so those our uh, primary purpose was to identify some so cluster that we have done second is uh, the aggregation of farmers me to form a farmer producer organization in these clusters Uh, then what we have done is to form at least one farmer producer organization in each of these clusters and the third strategy was to uh, have a infrastructure development in these clusters and then what we started that project with the uh, formation of and establishment of pack houses grading line packing lines etc etc in these clusters now uh, with these three com with the combination of these three inputs uh, uh, we have uh, Uh, we have around 400 cl uh, 400 clusters and each clusters we have now trying to link with the market then how we are doing is is uh, each apo uh, in each cluster uh, they submit a project to us and they projects vary from different commodities right from the uh, not only from the tomatoes but the potatoes carrots mushrooms baby corns wheat corns quinoa etc etc means now in each uh, the the clusters uh, are having a sizable area under different crops uh, say for example carrots they have around 1000 acre or more than 1000 acre same same to for the other commodities also now the uh, these commodities start aggregating at these uh, in these clusters and uh, in these pack houses that commodity are being graded now packed now and are being supplied to different markets Uh, at the same time there are different companies who have started uh, uh, started investing in haryana also and started co uh, collaborating with these apos for buyback arrangement of their produce now this ecosystem has started building up 
uh, in the last year itself we have uh, around 34 30 32 companies which have uh, firm tie up with these apios for their complete buyback of their produce and uh, this year we have also phone ka lo ka hello and this year also to understand you know the what the achievements of the project have been and we uh, sincerely uh, uh, wish that you know uh, this project for the scale is uh, becomes a national example so my congratulations to you as well as uh, the entire team so thank, thank you very you. much thank you very much <coughs> mr p narahari secretary and industries commissioner from department of msme uh, madhya pradesh for msme transformation through fostering cluster development uh, good afternoon everyone this is pankaj dubey uh, i'm a, i'm deputy director department of msme government of madhya pradesh mr narhari who is a secretary is away in fact uh, he is in a meeting with honorable chief minister in indore in fact so he could not join it so i, I have been asked to join it in fact uh, and i take this opportunity to thank uh, scotch uh for selecting us for the semi final of this award in fact and uh, as uh, our subject is uh, fostering cluster development in fact so we are transforming the msme sector in our state through our own cluster scheme in fact uh, through uh, public private partnership and we provide land in fact it's all bidding process which is very transparent in nature and and we provide uh, the government land which is undeveloped to the developer through spb so uh, th there are two advantages that state government does not have to incur any cost on the development of industrial infrastructure that is developed by the private uh, developer through spb and second one is actually they choose the investor uh, the developer of the cluster they choose the investor investor they invite the investor to invest in that particular cluster so uh, there is very little scope uh, for state government to uh, go all the way to investor to invite them to set up their shop in the state in fact that is very uh, is kind of relief to the state that they themselves set up their unit so this is the highlight and uh, this is very niche uh, Uh, uh the initiative which we have taken uh, uh, through public private partnership so we are developing in fact uh, around 48 uh, cluster in the state at, uh, across the state uh, through this state cluster policy and uh, uh, we have been successful in uh, in in fact uh, developing 11 uh, operational uh, there are 11 operational clusters in and around indore in fact that is uh, the industrial hub of the state and commercial capital of the state congratulations so this to this was the idea behind yeah. this cluster development program of the state to uh, develop clusters across the state through private partnership we provide them land they develop it they invite the investor they themselves set up their units in uh, in the cluster in fact So we that would love, is, we would love that to very uh, know more. Idea. Uh, I wish we had more time uh, to interact on this, but since yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much for joining us, and congratulations to you. Thank you. Uh, developing a cohesive startup ecosystem again, Department of MSME, Government of Madhya Pradesh, Mr. P. Narahari. Let's see. The next one also goes to the MSME department. MP. Yeah, again, I uh, would like to extend my sincere thanks to Scotch uh, for for giving us opportunity. Uh, actually, uh, we are the latest startup as far as the startup ecosystem is concerned. Uh, we we launched our policy this year only, but uh, have been very successful in getting startup uh, growth in the startup ecosystem. And uh, approximately, there are more than twenty five recognized startups. uh and we have set up a very professional one uh, professional body uh which in, in which we have recruited number of experts with dealing legal finance and project management so this is uh, our initiative in fact and we have been very successful in uh, these 7 8 years since the launch of our startup policy congratulations thank you very much 
Entrepreneurship development through self-employment scheme again for Department of MSME, Government of Madhya Pradesh. Uh, again, thank you very much. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, we have just launched one self-employment scheme catering to the demand of young, uh, educated, uh, uh, unemployed youths. We are providing them the, uh, the guarantee from the state government side to the bank through CGT MSE scheme. Uh, we pay the fee of CGT MSME, CGT MSE scheme and also we provide uh, in interest subvention of uh, 3% for the 7 years of time. In fact. Congratulations. Thank you. Department of Horticulture and Food Processing, Government of Madhya Pradesh, Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana, Sir JN Consortia, Additional Chief Secretary. For uh, and uh, I am uh, director of Just like to thanks to uh, Euro team. Uh, I will um, for the Scotch team for their uh, kind um, support and efforts. And uh, basically, the Department of Horticulture is working for enhancing the farmers' technical know-how for the precision farming to increase his production and uh, the develop. Uh, doubling his income so there are many schemes where uh, farmers can avail the assistant apply for the scheme with the help of the online portal that is mpfsts portal uh, farmers can apply directly and track his application and avail the benefits of the pradhan mantri krishi sija yojana so uh, sir in this year or the last year the 60000 uh, farmers or hectares that we reach this scheme through this portal and 250 crores as uh, uh, yeah that is a subsidy to avail by the farmers so within a short period of time to the farmers and definitely uh, their uh, yield and quality uh, of, of the horticultural crops uh, enhance and that is why the mp um, is known as a horticulture state in the um, in, in yes. india and then the many Very crops project, just yeah. we have the first second and third position there so, uh, Madhya Pradesh, uh, in total total scenario, we see uh, that uh, the Pradhan Mantri uh, Yojana. Please allow me the, to move on as we are already uh, behind uh, schedule. Uh, we have the details of the project and we have studied it. And as a result uh, of which, we made it to the semi finalists. Thank you again. And now, invite Mr. V. Yes, Srinivas Rao, yes, Chief Executive yes, Officer, Forest and Climate Change Department, Government of Chhattisgarh, Soil and Water Conservation. For rejuvenation of streams. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are calling me, sir. They are now. They are calling me. I'm uh, uh, So, uh, uh, good evening, sir and ma'am. Uh, myself, Venkatachalam, joint CEO, calling uh, from the Chhattisgarh on behalf of Forest and Climate Change Department. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, we thank uh, the Scotch Group for uh, giving this opportunity. So, our project, this is uh, soil and water conservation for reju uh, rejuvenation of streams in forest areas. It has been started in 2019. And it is a need-based project and it's a demand-driven project because uh, like any other state, we are facing the problem of climate change and their impacts. So we wanted to rejuvenate the rivers because in Chhattisgarh, there are 36,000 streams out of which 8,000 are present inside the forest. And mainly the tribal rich uh, state, they are dependent on the forest for their livelihood. So this program has been initiated in 2019. And so far we have created 98 lakh structures covering 23 lakh hectares of forest area. So our objective is to control the soil erosion and to improve the forest productivity and also to support the livelihood of people uh, living adjoining the forest areas. So in Chhattisgarh, around 11,000 villages are within the 5 kilometers of the periphery of the forest area. So these tribal people depend on forest for non-wood forest products collection and also for the micro-irrigation facilities, which is considered under this project. So after implementing this project, we are uh, getting a very positive results and also it is a demand driven uh, project and uh, the speciality of the project is preparing a technically sound DPR using remote sensing and GIS tools. So compared to conventional methods, we are using all these technologies like plot maps, liniment, so that the right structure at the right place is constructed in a cost effective manner. So after implementing this project, we are getting a positive results like increase in green cover, increase in carbon stock that is above ground uh, and below ground soil mass which is evident on the forest survey of india reports and uh, 
the forest department is enthusiastic to be uh, part of this natural resource management and uh, on behalf of forest department sir we thank you for giving this opportunity thank you congratulations many many congratulations tsi pass industries and commerce department government of telangana mr d krishna bhaskar director industries the next one also goes to the industries and commerce department telangana virtual mode in conducting conciliation hearings under ms med act 2006 for delayed payments sir good evening sir uh, this is rajesh reddy chairperson of uh, ms med facilitation council thank you for selecting the our council uh, one of the uh, best uh, online system so basically mm-hmm. during the uh, covid 19 we faced so many challenges while conducting the conciliation meetings so one is the presence of uh, climate and respondent before the council second one is the their uh, transportation issue because of covid uh, the uh, restrictions are there so to overcome these so the council has introduced this uh, online conciliation system by establishing the equipment so because of this we achieved the percentage of attendance has been increased from 60 to 90 percent and also disposal of the cases has been increased mutual settlement cases has been increased uh, that is the uh, one of the uh, advantage of uh, creating this online consultation we are using uh, due to this uh, responded in different parts of the country they need not come to the council they need not waste their time and money to attending the council meetings so in that way the council has achieved we are try to clear the cases as for the norms of the set by the ministry of msme under the msme act 2006 thank you sir thank you for selecting our council congratulations thank you Madhya Pradesh Urja Vikas Nigam Limited, Anvir Sharma Managing or Urja Sakshartha Abhiyan, Zvenu Jaipal Chairman and Managing Director, Rajasthan Skill and Livelihood Development Corporation for Skill Rajasthan. Hello, uh, yeah, sir. Good afternoon. We are from Urja Vikas Nigam Madhya Pradesh. Here we go. Uh, we uh, have with us dr surendra vajpayee he is the director of uh, urja sakshata abhiyan and a state nodal officer i would request him to just uh, give, give a quick overview of the project so i might be aware that uh, good afternoon everyone and thank you escos for giving this opportunity to interact on this uh, i guess uh, form sir mp urja vikas team has uh, under the guidance of chief minister of madhya pradesh as he says this uh, mass energy literacy pro- uh, campaign that is urja sakshar abhiyan the basic objective of the abhiyan is to educate and uh, every citizen of the state to make them aware about the consequences of uh, energy consumption and management and to, to educate about their role in mitigating the climate uh, challenges that is what is the uh, basic uh, objective of this uh, abhiyan and we are doing it uh, thoroughly through the iot we support uh, web portal and mobile app uh, through mobile app to keep uh, the transparency and to reach every individual of the state thank you thank you escorts for giving this opportunity congratulations thank you sir mr sudarshan kumar director invention innovation incubation and training at jammu and baramula skill development department jnk good afternoon everybody good afternoon myself sudarshan kumar i am director uh, skill development jnk uh, i am thankful to team scotch and the jurists who have selected our project for this order of merit the project uh, we have just initiated and uh, it's a uh, adopted multi pronged approach for developing an entrepreneurial ecosystem through skill training employment enhancement research and development innovation and incubation 
so we have started working on it and we expect very good uh, results in the coming days i am very very thankful uh, to this uh, award and it will definitely help us to do more in this field thank you so much congratulations ujwala bhavitaku upathi society for employment generation and enterprise development in andhra pradesh tulasi dmk project director Yes sir good afternoon to all good afternoon sir it's a really a good opportunity for me to thank the all scotch team for selecting ujwala bhavita ku upadi under the scotch nominee awards actually the main aim of this scheme sir i am projecting this from the chitu district sir i am working as a pddr ta so mostly we are concentrating mostly on the rural poor people who are mainly the dropouts uh, it may be from 10th or intermediate or a degree may take it the basic age as 18 to 35 years who are the main dropouts for them under the scheme of deen dayal upadhyay kaushal yojana and also with the help of cdap we are taking them through the council giving counseling and through sachivalayams we are taking their biodata who are having most of them dropouts unable to do so for all of them we are giving 90 days training in all the skill developmental activities and giving them the opportunity the main team of our projects sir every rural poor household member should get an opportunity to work in rural related sector or in some medical shops or in any way they can fit a job this uh, uh, this sir be helpful for us during the corona times nearly 2000 people's recruitment we have done as chitur it is the border for uh, bangalore and chennai most of them uh, may be migrating to the cities so here itself we are making them to have a good skills in so many skill in computer operating skills uh, and also in rural retail sectors how to do all the business activities uh, business skills making them and we are also having a good facilitating centers at bangalore and also so chennai through the data we are recruiting regularly sir for every 3 months we are refreshing the bench and giving the opportunity the basic uh, salary which we have kept here is uh, from 15000 to 20000 every rural poor households uh, who are having that uh, uh, basing on the educational qualifications uh, whether it may be 10th or or, or uh, intermediate or degree or any technical also if they are having with the help of sri city and some other industries we are giving the recruitment sir thank you sir thank you for giving this opportunity thank you very much and congratulations to you state institute for development of arts and crafts odisha skill and entrepreneurship development of women in golden grass craft in kendra para dr arvind kumar padi principal secretary good afternoon everybody good afternoon myself santosh mandi as standard director state institute for development art and craft odisha on behalf of sts department government of odisha the sankalp pilot project which is a tripartite project between msd ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship government of india handroom textiles and handicraft department of government of odisha and district administration kendrapada of odisha this project has been aimed to give livelihood um, to 3000 female golden grass artisans of kendrapada district this project has been started during november 2020 and it has aimed to final complete the project on march 2023 and during this project we have given different type of skills uh like just craft uh, skilling designing and entrepreneurship marketing and this for that was skills are given by outside outside partners then um, now we have received orders for five lakhs 
which is our through our design partner and marketing partner and this orders has been complicated educated by this artisans of kendra districts and they are now to you and the entire team this is an commendable work um, i only hope that you know uh, next when we meet it would have scaled from uh, uh, 5 lakhs to 5 crores congratulations yes, thank, you. thank you to team scots thank you mr anup kumar srivastava member secretary and dr d subramaniam member state good. planning commission government of chatisgarh initiatives for the implementation of sdg in chatisgarh uh, good evening uh, first of all i would like to thank mr samir kochar and team of the scotch for providing us this opportunity as is well known to us that sdg resolution has been passed by un with the mandate that nobody should be left behind it could was realized that it could be possible only when their institutional framework for monitoring and evaluation should be in place and that should be robust enough for that uh, for localization and for creation of it guideline has been issued by mosp and the iog as all of us know it that it has been issued by them and following that we could be able to put in place all the efforts and mobilize and also convince all st- stakeholders and ultimately we we are able to put at place the state indicator framework which was robust and has been appreciated by so many organization institutions across the country and by niti aayog also our people has been asked to be uh, there at uh, administrative college hyderabad for sharing their views and uh, the one of the uh, things which i would like to share that it is very unique in the sense we have already mapped that the, the uh, goal wise indicators and also target for 2030 we could be able to map different departments different schemes different initiatives with comprehensive metadata after that which is being used by the departments as you all of you uh, all of us know that based on data and evidence process uh, uh, to be re- required to be put in place is very difficult presently everywhere there is a lot of hue and cry that we are not having the quality data there but i am happy to share with all of you that our state could be able to map the sources data sources also and which is being accepted by department we could be able to congratulations to you there in the end uh, i would like to share that localization process has gone even up to the districts we have already district indicator framework at place and we have prepared the baseline data also and progress report for 21 also and i am very happy and thankful to all of you that you allowed us opportunity to share it with all different scholars at this platform i hope and wish that this platform should, should go more stronger so that we can be uh, able to uh, in a position to get all the benefits and get able to uh, get opportunity to get uh, enlightened by different kinds of these kind of discussions thank you very much thank, thank you. you and congratulations once again and now invite mr k ramulu vice chairman and managing director telangana state agro industries development corporation <laughs> for agro raithu seva kendras yeah uh, uh, thank you so much uh, uh, mr ramlo is with me i am secretary of agriculture um, this uh, agro raithu seva kendras uh, we had started after the state was bifurcated basically to ensure that uh, adequate inputs are available very close to the farmers doorstep so the idea of this was to engage rural youth provide them uh, training and uh, convert them into entrepreneurs by providing bank linkage uh, support to all of them and also ensuring that they meet the compliance requirements of obtaining licenses and all so that uh, each of the uh, youth uh, can provide can become a, a reliable input supplier to the local farmers so this was the idea behind this and uh, we have ensured that the people who Uh, emerge as agro right to seva kendras are basically uh, from the farming community themselves so that they understand the issues of the farmer uh, we have uh, we now have more than 1000 such uh, agro right to seva kendras 
they have been doing well uh, many of them have got assistance uh, from banks directly which uh, uh, which certifies their uh, uh, credit credibility and uh, all of them are doing a business of more than uh, 1 crore some of them are have even touched 10 crores so we want to continue with this exercise we want to uh, ensure that uh, uh, many of these uh, kendras uh, can be digitized so that uh, there is availability of information at all levels about the functioning the inventories and we can push adequate supplies uh, to the rural areas all this has been done basically uh, with the intention of restoring the pride in farming by the farmer when uh, telangana was formed uh, the agricultural sector was in a deep crisis uh, the idea is to ensure that adequate inputs water power and procurement is available to the farmer at the local level so that farming remains a uh, uh, an occupation of pride rather than an occupation of subsistence so one of the things that we are ensuring is that the farmer need not stand in a line queue up before shops uh, to get uh, supplies of uh, fertilizer or seeds or uh, other pp chemicals so we have been largely successful uh, in this regard and uh, uh, i thank you for recognizing this uh, initiative that we have taken thank you congratulations to you mr rao and uh, mr ramudu once again thank you mr sanjay kumar agarwal secretary water resources department government of bihar for ganga jal aapurti yojana i said along the months of the pending the blue rd government of bihar representing representing mr sanjay kumar so uh, I am here to present my project, which has been formulated in plot one. As you know, Bihar is suffering, North Bihar is suffering from flood water simultaneously. Same time, South Bihar is suffering from scarce water. Scarce. So, this project has been formulated. in the light of honorable chief minister flagship program jan jeevan haryali uh, in this we are tapping uh, ganga flood water in month of june to october four months only this flood water we are tapping from there and providing drinking water to rajgir gaya bodhgaya and navada towns around 10 lakh people will be benefited from that and in this project we are laying a pipeline of 151 km and we are lifting water from ganga up to height of 90 meters as you know this project has been formulated in 2019 and next in 2020 and 2021 we faced the covid period in spite of that i am pleased to announce among you that this project has been going to be commissioned in this month on 27th and 28th by honorable chief minister sri nitish kumar in this month only Congratulations to you. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, wonderful initiative. Thank you. Dr. Venkatesh M. Venkataramaya, Commissioner, Watershed Development Department, Government of Karnataka, Land Resource Inventory for Agriculture Sustainability and Convergence of Programs. Very good evening to the entire squash team. I'm Dr. Venkatesh, Commissioner for Watershed. I'm accompanied by our director, Mr. Shinivas, and all our uh, staffs are here. In fact, uh, Karnataka is very unique uh, in uh, implementing uh, a science-based uh, watershed program. That is LRI. It is the study of scientific study of soil, water, and related resources the, at the field level. In fact, uh, all the scientific uh, faculty they traverse the field area here, and they generate uh, different data in terms of soil moisture, the soil depth. the chemical and physical parameters and uh, agrometeorological advisors 
and all this information are fed into a digital library and in the digital library the thematic maps are generated and nine decision support systems can be generated in the form of crop suitability nutrient management soil organic uh, status and so on so and uh, so far about 14 lakh hectare across karnataka has been covered under the world bank sponsored sujala program and now uh, taking clue from this uh, world bank has identified karnataka as the lighthouse partner to implement uh, a uh, science based watershed program across the country in fact we have generated about 10 lakh cards and has been given to the farmers this has helped farmers in a bigger way in terms of reducing the input cost and suggesting the proper crop suitability and reducing the fertilizers and so on in fact this has emerged as a, a scalable uh, replicable a scientific uh, uh, rain fed watershed development program in the country and karnataka is uh, uh, it is a unique initiation and for the first of its kind it has been implemented in india thank you congratulations the next one also goes to you for promotion of fpos in karnataka so thank you sir the fpos uh, the farmer producer organizations we you know that uh, farmers are at the mercy of monsoon as well as the market they suffer from the field till the consumer mouth at all the levels they are being exploited by the intermediaries so in order to break this vicious cycle and make the agriculture the farming a profitable business we introduced this farmer producer organizations where farmers are collectivized here this is an a company formed under the company act by the farmer of the farmer and for the farmer so this provides a big platform in terms of access to uh, science based agriculture access to uh, institutional credit providing best practices providing best quality seeds mechanization in fact uh, in the entire uh, state uh, we have formed about 1139 farmer producer organizations collectivizing about 15 lakh farmers which is one of the biggest institution so far covered in the entire country and in fact uh, we have introduced uh, innovative technology for these farmers we have brought them into rashtriya e marketing services e mandi they have been onboarded into amazon flipkart and so on so on and uh, they have been periodically been uh, uh, trained by our center for excellence on fpos and in fact uh, market linkage and market intelligence has given more importance for them so uh, we have studied that an objective study has been done fpo provides the best platform to uh, double the farmers income in a short period of time and make india a 5 trillion dollar economy in the coming years thank you congratulations the third one amrut sarovar so, so the third one is the uh, amrut sarovar is the unique initiation taken by watershed department in the rain fed areas the main objectives of amrut sarovar is to catch the rain where it falls and when it falls This, the construction of amrut sarovars is planned in a very scientific way based on the community demand and the location as well as the size of the ponds are determined based on our land resource inventory using gis remote sensing and the terrestrial maps so far under pmks way 20 on different programs we have constructed about 750 amrut sarovars across the state covering 30 districts so we have harvested about 15 tms of water amounting to 35000 crore liters of water using 20 crores suppose if we wanted to construct a, a dam to harvest this amount of water we need about 1000 crores it has emerged as a cost effective plus eco friendly environment friendly and people friendly and initiation of government of karnataka in fact one of the peculiar initiation is the community involvement here Uh, on uh, as a part of uh, azadi ka amrut mahotsav on uh, 75th independence day the senior citizens who are aged more than 100 years the, the freedom fighters the army man they were encouraged to hoist the nation flag in the vicinity of amrut sarovar in fact this uh, created a so much of positive vibes so much of positive atmosphere that even the prime minister of india sri narendra modi he commented about amrut sarovar in his man ki baat uh, speech on bagal court so this is a new initiation it has uh, uh, made lot of efforts to save the ecology to conserve the environment and to harvest the rainwater to prevent the soil erosion 
and to protect the soil and water in situ thank you well thank you so much and congratulations once again so this brings us thank to you, the end of the announcement of the second and the last round of uh, scotch semi finalists order of merit for 2022 Thank you.